everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Today we're going to talk about the straight stitch foot for the Singer 401A. Now everybody knows that this machine is a slant shank. You see, it's a Singer slant shank and I have an adapter on there that allows me to buy snap-on feet and you can still get snap-on feet um, from online supply places. I buy mine. I always go to eBay. There's always those places selling on eBay and we're going to connect this and I'm going to show you the best way that this this foot is actually used for because um, I use I, I make a lot of shirts and when you're doing shirt making you can't live without this foot so stay with me I'll be right back don't go away okay welcome back now sometimes you may have problems getting this foot on and the best way that I've found to put the foot on is angle it up, put your presser foot down, pick it up like that and you'll hear a click and then you drop it down and that it's in place. The newer ones that they made is a little difficult to get on. The, the, the older ones, uh, it fits in there really good. So you might have a little bit of a tight fit there, but it'll work. Okay, so now this is what I'm going to teach you. I showed this trick on my Janome Skyline machine but I want to also show you on the the um, the, the uh, Singer machine here. So what happens is when you want to get a nice edge stitch, say this is um, your collar or your or some uh, your cuff, and you're putting it down, and you want to edge stitch that right on there. The best way to do it is with a straight stitch foot. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to ride. Let me put the foot down. You're going to ride that material and bump it against the right side of the split of the foot okay that's how you're going to do this and I'm going to demonstrate that right, right now for you and of course your needle is in the center needle position it's a straight stitch and I'm using that inexpensive cotton fabric I bought off of eBay like seven, eight, nine years ago. See how nice it sews? Alright, so let me take this out of here and show you now. Alright, so you see that? That is lined up perfectly on that edge there. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so freaking beautiful the way that's lined up like that. Now, Here's another thing you can use this for. Let's just say that you want to edge stitch on the outside of your garment. Okay, look, you can see that this one is this is one piece pro of the other. If you want to edge stitch on the outside of your garment, you do the same way, same thing. Okay, this is, let's just say this is, I don't know what you're going to do. Maybe you're edge stitching the edge of uh, something like a uh, bottom of a hem or draperies, or maybe you put together a sewing machine cover and you want to stitch the seam on the outside to give it more definition, or maybe making a pair of pants where you put a seam line all the way down, so it's like a pin tuck. Maybe you want to do pin tucks. This is how you would do pin tucks. You know, you're doing heirloom sewing, you want to put a pin tuck in, so and I'll do it. So you're going to ride around the edge here. how easy that was and there it is right on the edge see right on the edge isn't it? and I got the green thread on here so you can see better by the way that's why I use color see and then you make a pin tuck well let's see let me, let me do it on this jean material I was using this denim on one of my other one of my other projects so let's just put this isn't really this isn't a cotton a lightweight cotton that you would use for heirloom sewing this is what I got at hand to do this demonstration so let me just show you here. Let's pretend we're going to make pin tucks. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold your fabric. You're going to mark lines on your fabric, and then you're going to iron the fabric over. See, so you make line. You're going to let's pretend you make a line. You have lines going down. Then you fold the fabric over, and then you iron this so it's a nice straight line. Okay. And then you're going to sew just like I did earlier. And of course you use matching color threads, your matching fabric, and then you open it up, 
you'll open it up and then you have a beautiful pin tuck. See, now you've got a pin tuck. Isn't that nice? Here it is right there. So if you're making a tuxedo shirt, you do rows and rows of this. You see? Now let me take the camera off of the tripod. And um, the lady who always complains that I don't have my camera on the tripod, you're probably going to want to shut my your uh, computer off now and not watch this because I'm going to try to get a close-up to show my viewers what this actually looks like really up close, okay? And the only way I can do that is putting the camera in front of me, okay? Okay, right, I'm go. back. Now, one thing that's difficult for me holding the camera right now with this machine is all my other sewing machines, I have the knee lifter on most of them, so it's a little difficult right now for me to do this without a knee lifter too. Okay, so I want you to watch. See where the fabric is sitting, okay? Now I'm going to try to do this, I'll probably sew crooked because I'm holding the camera and, okay, let's pretend this is the camera. So I'm looking, this is the camera, but this is the view screen over here. So I have to move the camera more this way so the lens is over here, but I see the view screen over here. You know, I miss the old fashioned movie cameras where you look directly behind the camera to look there. But they have in the newer cameras, but I don't have it. Anyway, maybe if I make enough money I'll uh, buy one of those new expensive cameras. So here we go. You ready? I, let's hope I do this straight because I'm holding this camera. But I think this might be enough so far for you to see how it's done. See how that fabric is staying in that split? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I got to pat myself on the back. Okay, you see that? All right, let me take this out and show you. Okay. So there's what I just sewed. Here's what I sewed earlier. And as I showed you earlier, when you open it up, then you iron it to one side, and you've got yourself a nice little pin tuck. See? And here's what I just sewed right now to show you as a demo. Isn't that nice? Now I'm sure there's many different tech, uh, projects you could think of to use the straight stitch foot for now, right? So that's one more foot you'll know how to use, and it's a phenomenal foot. Now, if you're using very, very fine fabric, this straight stitch foot is great to use with a straight stitch plate. And I have a straight stitch plate coming in that I ordered so I can show you all. Um, but you can still get accessories for these machines. That's what's so fantastic. You can get accessories for the machines because there's companies that are making them. Because these machines, they've been lasting for years, right? So there you go. All right, all right, everybody, I hope this helped you and gave you um, more confidence to use this machine. And if you're not using this machine, you're using another machine, you learn more about the, about the straight stitch foot. And um, so that's my goal is to help you all out there because many of you out there helped me. You all helped me in this industry by supporting me and becoming my fans by buying my books. And for you all that have not bought my books, just look me up on my, my, my website and uh, look, look, look up for my books uh, and you'll find them. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. So anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.